Hello everybody, Dee Stitcher here with a special video for you today about silks. I'm doing a video on fiberlicious silks and the difference between filament silk and spun silk. Uh, later on I'm going to turn the camera around and I'm going to show you my whips that I've done with filament silk and with the spun silk. And then I'll show you the threads themselves up close to so you can see the difference. But right now, I'm going to read to you off her website, uh, fiberliciousyummyfibers.com. Um, her definition of what a filament silk is and what a spun silk is. So, her filament silks, I'm just going to read it here. Reeled or filament silk is the highest quality floss and is very white and shiny. It's also very strong, smooth, and durable. It takes dye beautifully, resulting in vibrant colors. However, it could be intimidating for beginner, beginner silk stitchers as it is slippery and more expensive compared to cotton. Accept the challenge and you will have a wonderful project that will last forever. Now her filament silks go for four dollars a skein. And they are beautiful. I have all this plus my plus the silk for my learning sampler. So since she's been back from her break her from her holiday, she has has been dyeing spun silk. Now spun silk is the weak filament of the transparent silken envelope that remains from the reeling process, as well as the damaged, discolored, or imperfectly shaped cocoons. These become the raw material for lustrous, creamy colored spun silk yarn. It is rather a subtle sheen compared to the filament silk with visible fur or slubs and takes dyes less vibrantly. However, it is an ideal thread for beginners, silk stitchers, smoother than cotton, fluffier and cheaper than filament silk, and pretty easy to use. So I just got my first order of spun silk right here. I have one more order coming. It's not here yet. Um, but the colors are still beautiful. And I'm going to show you an up closer of the silks later. Okay. So that's the difference between spun silk and filament silk. Now when you order, you need to make sure that you're ordering enough for your project because she dies to order and you don't want to start a project and then realize, oh, I need another skein and then order it and it be a different dye lot because that's what happens. It happens with DMC, it happens with all of the dyers. You get different dye lots for when you do it in different batches you get different dye lots and the colors come out a little bit different. So you want to make sure that when you do order from any hand dyer that you're dyeing it that you're ordering enough for the project that you want. And if you don't have a project in mind get two or three like I do. Why not? Okay. Now, Gwen is also a one-man band. She runs Fiberlicious all on her own, no help from anybody. And so you need to be patient with her. She does her best. She works night and day to get our silks and our cottons ready for us. And uh, she works as fast as she possibly can. Once she ships her product, then the shipping is pretty much out of her hands. You know, it's in the hands of USPS or Canada Post or Royal Mail or wherever the heck it's going. It, uh, it's up to them once she sends it off on her way, and she sends it off as soon as she can. Um, while we're at Fiberlicious, I will mention that she does charts and she has some special accessories that she has just started doing like sparkling needle cases, needle minders, and beeswax thread conditioner which she shapes into beautiful little flowers and stuff. You should really go take a look. 
But that is all that I have to, sh to say from this side of the camera. I'm now going to turn the camera around and show you my whips and show you the silks up close. So stay tuned. Okay. Okay. So here I am on the other side of the camera showing you my Fiberlicious wil whips. Um, I'll start with the start with the spun silk because I forgot to mention to you how much her spun silk is compared to her filament silk which is four dollars her uh, spun silk is three dollars and ten cents and this is the only whip that I have with her spun silk I just finished it last night um, the fabric is also dyed by her although she doesn't sell fabric right now but she did dye this piece and I bought it off of her but this is um, the spun silk and I'm going to try and get up close. This is done in My Valentine's. It is a variegated purple. The coverage is beautiful. Working with it is beautiful. Um, this here is the silk right here. And I'll show you later with it compared to the filament silk. So that is the spun silk. Let's move back here so you can see. This over here is the filament silk. This is done in Sea Dragon. You can see how much brighter it is. That's done with two over two. And then here's another one with filament silk. And then, of course, my learning sampler, which I'm doing specialty stitches and cross stitches with. I'm just working on my it right now, so you're going to have to excuse the thread in work right there. So that is it with it in um, spe in specialty stitches and in cross stitches. Now if you move over here, here is a sample of filament silk, spun silk, and then regular DMC. So let's see if we can do this. So this is the filament silk. It is very slippery. It is thin. Um, it can be, if you're not used to it, if you're just used to doing, um, working with cotton, it can be a little bit different to work with. Um, I enjoy working with it. Uh, and, uh, it's very slippery, very shiny, uh, very smooth. This is the, um, this is the spun silk here. The next one is for spun silk. See, it's very... Goes, it has a mind of its own, really. I find that when I'm using this that I need to use a needle... Um, what are those called? A laying tool. Um, to get the... If you're working with two over two or whatever, or two over one, uh, just so that you get them to lay flat and not jumble up and get all twisted. This, I find, is just like working with DMC. Um, it's a lot thicker. It's thicker than DMC. By a little bit. So that's, this is two strands of DMC and this is two strands of uh, spun silk. And the spun silk is a little bit thicker. A little bit fluffier, but stronger and smoother and softer. DMC is great as well but it, it's not as strong it feels very coarse um, you know but it does and that's the, and this is this is this is just, just like working with DMC it's except working with it is a lot more enjoyable 
because it is softer, because it is stronger, because it glides through the fabric so much easier. Um, I think that beginner beginner silk uh, stitchers would really enjoy this spun silk and have no problems working with it at all. Um, so that is my thoughts on the Fibrolicious Silks. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know and I will do my best to answer them. I hope this helped you all in knowing the difference between the silks and seeing a bit of the uh, outcome that you can get with working with these silks. And I hope you all have a great stitchy month and I will see you at the end of the month with my update. Bye-bye. Happy stitching, everybody.